What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our Winterberry project. I know it doesn't look like a lot's changed from the front of the house, but we do have some exterior updates. The siding guys have been out on site for the last few days. They started in the back of the home. Stone, next week. Driveway, supposedly next week. It's the joys of building a house in 2021 slash 2022. You do your best to schedule things and you get them done and you get them done. That's kind of what I've had to tell myself at this point to not get stressed out about it. So we've got some updates on the inside of the house and I'm gonna poke you around the back and show you what we've got going up with LP so far. And the rain uh, just stopped. It was a little bit of a sprinkle and try and get this in real quick before the rain comes back. So on the last house you guys uh, saw us build the, the Marina Terrace house. We used the aluminum soffit and fascia. This house is the first house we have done the LP soffit and fascia on, and I think it makes a big difference. And the main reason we did it on this house was the size of our overhangs. So the overhangs on this house are much larger than the last one. Uh, we've got a couple spots where they're like two feet. But what do you guys think of the black? I know the trim boards kind of just blend in with the zip tape at this point. So get everything trimmed out, we'll get some white siding up and it should make a, a bit of a difference, but it is, it's exciting to see some stuff going on on the outside of the house. Let's make a trip around the back and see what they've got going on. I haven't been out in two days, so we shall take a look. I did get a picture from one of the guys on the detail they did above the stone, and I think it looks awesome. So you get the windows trimmed out, that part of the soffit and face is done, and we still got to get our stone in here, of course, but here is the detail uh, that the siding guys did for the step flashing that goes over the stone. And then there's a piece of trim board that'll go there. But I think the nice crisp, I got a bee coming for me. I think that nice crisp edge, it's got a nice gap to it. I think it ties in well with kind of that more modern look we're going for with this house. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about that instead of just a flat piece of flashing kicking out over it? I'm curious what other people think. So that's kind of the update from the outside of the house is we've gotten started on that. It's gonna take a while. Big house, a lot of stuff to trim, a lot of soffit and fascia, a lot of siding, a lot of board and batten. Just, it's, it's gonna be a long process. Uh, but these guys are fantastic. They do amazing work. They take their time. Their attention to detail is tremendous. So that's exactly why we were okay with waiting for them to get out on site. You know, we'd all hope they would have been out earlier. They've communicated with us through the process, letting us know why they're delayed, roughly how long they were gonna be delayed, and gave us enough heads up where we could have brought another contractor out if we wanted to. But, but again, once we find a contractor that we love working with, that is a true craftsman, we will do everything we can to flex our schedule to get them out on our projects. So since this is a spec house, and I have the ability to delay schedules, even though I absolutely hate it, I still think this house should have been finished and on the market probably about two months ago at this point. But if you guys have been following this series, and if you haven't, go back, check it out. We've got this whole build from start to finish, from the time we started digging ground until where we're at today, and we'll continue on until the house is finished. But if you've been following, you know we took some huge delays uh, last year uh, in the framing stage, which set us up for just a snowball effect of big delays. And unfortunately, it's put us into the point where, you know, we've got a million plus dollar house on the market with interest rates that have already gone up over 2%. This thing should have been on the market before the rate rises started. Would have had an easier time selling it, but hey, that's the joy of building houses right now. So we're back on the inside of the house. Take it for a couple small updates here. Nothing huge this upcoming week. Be some big differences. I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get on to the inside. Laundry room still in the same state. We've just got to bring the rest of the cabinets in. But we've kind of been focusing on the kitchen cabinets. So you see we've got the island is in place. Uh, we missed it on the, the drawings. It was super faint and we just didn't look close enough and we're not used to having to do it. We had to build this little half wall here uh, for the cabinets to mount to. And then the countertop's gonna overhang it on this side and it's gonna waterfall off of both edges, which I think is gonna look super sharp. What do you guys think of the color combo? And I know we had a few cabinets up on the last tour, 
but we're getting a couple more tricky with the fridge cabinets uh, the cabinets that go above the refrigerator since we had this little kick in uh, built here during framing we kind of have to build a temporary wall or a dummy wall off the back to flush it out and give our cabinets a place to mount to so appliances the, the fridges are in cooktop is in the microwave is in we had to change the ovens which i don't remember if i told you guys on the last video but we had to order a different set of ovens the ones we ordered last year in like october we're still going to be like another month out which lead times on everything are just absolutely atrocious and then same thing with the dishwasher uh, we had to change a direction on the dishwasher which that one's not a big deal the ovens were kind of a big deal i was dead set on the modern line from wolf for their double built-in 30 inch thought it looked super sleek and i just you know love the name on it my appliance rep when i talked to him last week said hey this is where we're at it's still going to be of at least august before we get them and we're going to need it before then he said but i've got a great alternative for you the ge cafe line has a super sleek modern double 30 inch oven that actually i found out has a lot of different features that the wolf doesn't so i put them side by side you couldn't tell the difference between the two minus the tiny little name in black for wolf on the front the ge cafe ones actually have cameras inside of the oven which you can just look on your phone to see what the food in the oven looks like so if you're hosting a party you're not having to keep walking away to go check what's in the oven you can just look at your phone real quick and you could say hey alexa open my oven and the dang oven's open for you i don't know that seems crazy to me but so you get a couple more features and we can actually have them this next week we're not going to bring them in yet because we're not quite ready the focus is to get all of the cabinets in so we can get our countertop company to come out and measure and start making all of the quartz slabs for us because there's going to be a bunch of them in this house six bathrooms a big kitchen with waterfall a big bar definitely going to take some time to prep and hopefully we can actually get the slabs uh, i kind of got an idea that i want is and i'll put a picture in somewhere here here or the whole screen because i suck at editing um, it's a black counter with a white vein in it i think it's going to look super sharp with the light floors and the contrast with the light cabinets and the dark cabinets speaking of light these cabinets have the led strips actually built in oh the lighting's terrible here how about over here so yeah these actually have the led lights built in flush which is pretty nifty and we are waiting on the transformers uh, apparently they forgot to load them in the container in italy when they loaded the cabinets up so they shipped out this past week we should hopefully have them this week not a huge deal uh, but i have a feeling we're gonna have to change a couple things to get them to work not the end of the world let's jump upstairs real quick because on the last video we talked about maybe chopping apart uh, a wall and moving a window and unfortunately it had to be done um, i cannot leave something wrong if i know it's wrong even if it's an absolute pita to fix so yeah we chopped the wall apart chopped the wall apart moved the header reframed everything pulled you know, pull the drywall off had to pull, cut the sheeting off the outside of the house, get the window mounted, resheathe, reseal, retape. Drywall repair guys coming next week. So now it is out of the bathtub and we can properly tile and you could do a glass wall with no problems. That's how it was supposed to be done to begin with. You know, sometimes I don't think about coming through uh, during the framing stage in measuring the location of every window. You hope you shouldn't have to do that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make that an SOP on our end moving forward for all projects. Just take two hours, once it's framed, come through, measure every location, make sure they're right. It's a lot easier to move a window before there's insulation, um, electrical, drywall, mud, tape, paint, all that was done. So it adds a fair amount of cost, but had to be right it would drove me crazy if it wasn't so yeah, it's just what we have to do and i don't remember if i showed you guys the they're just cleaning up the grout on the jack and jill bath we did this dark ebony grout to go with this like great dark gray tile i think it looks pretty sharp and then we've got the floors covered so if you uncover them you got the white floors with the marble look and this darker wall i think it's gonna look sweet together 
So I will catch you down in the basement for one last update before I let you guys go. All right, and we are back down in the basement. So our one update is you can't see the floor anymore. <laughs> Uh, it turned out super sharp in my opinion, but the bar uh, we wrapped with MDF because on this side we're going to do just kind of like a modern thin trim like a, like a 1x4 in, I don't know if we're going to do like a, a diamond pattern or just like a cross pattern, just something for a little bit of detail that is more robust than drywall since you know this counter is going to overhang this way, chairs all the way around it, and people's feet kicking it and scuffing it. So we wanted something stronger than drywall there. So MDF with a little bit of a built-in flair to it for some detail. And you can kind of see, we did that same dark grout here so it almost blends in with the tile. And the tile needs uh, a bath, of course, once we're done, but they washed it a few times before we covered it. Just keeps the traffic off and makes it a little easier to clean at the end of the project. We've got one last thing to do before we put all the cabinets in down here. And that is to get the electrical run through the wall. We're going to have some outlets in the top, uh, you know, on the face here underneath the overhang. That way you can plug stuff in on the countertop. And then once that's run through, we'll get all the cabinets down here, get that all set up. We'll do the detail on the outside here, get it painted. And that'll be a wrap for the bar until countertops. So as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to go on these house tours with us. If you guys are enjoying the process of building a home from start to finish and some of the not so good things that come of it and some of the struggles we have while building, uh, do us a huge favor. Smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, and let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. So if you're an owner builder or you're gonna start your own project or if you have any general questions, let us know and hopefully we can answer them for you. If we can't, we'll try and point you in a direction to someone who can, but we will catch you on the next episode, which should have some pretty big updates for the inside of the house. You should see some trim going in. We should see some doors going in and you should see some movement in the master bathroom. They're supposed to start uh, in the shower on Monday. Today is Saturday, so we shall see. Maybe you'll come next week and we'll have a driveway and we'll have stone and we'll have a whole bunch of stuff on the outside. Maybe not, but I'm 85% confident we will. So we'll catch you on that episode.